Is there in the Bible? That's why that songwriter says, And we who live in yet remain, caught up shall meet the Savior Lord. He said, This hope we cherish not in vain, but we comfort one another by His word. That is the word we are comforting ourselves by. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Talking about coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because somebody told, uh, somebody was in my office today and he said the first time he came here, he looked at the altar and he saw the eagle and he couldn't understand what is this eagle again. Which one be this ego, ego again? Which one be this? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everywhere you go, not dove you they see. But here you can't see ego. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Now, church, listen. John the beloved saw it. Ezekiel also saw it. Ezekiel saw it years before John saw it in the island of Patmos. The throne of God was revealed to John in Revelation chapter 4. Hallelujah. You know there is fire here. Don't worry. Anything can happen here now. Eh? Anything can happen here now. So, so don't be distracted. Praise the Lord. While Peter yet spake, the Holy Ghost came down. So anything can happen. Praise the Lord. If, if today is your first time of coming to this church, you have never been here before till today, can you wave your hand up? How many, how many of us? Today is your first time. Can you stand up wherever you are? Just stand up. Stand up wherever you are. Oh, praise God. Let's clap our hands now. Thank you. Hallelujah. Somebody around them and you have the Holy Ghost. Can you give them a Holy Ghost handshake? A Holy Ghost handshake. And say something to that person that that thing, something that will come to pass. Do you know that? Shake them, shake them. What you be told in this place for the Lord who has called you must never fail at all. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Be seated. Now, for those of you who have been coming here, listen, church. This is very important. Hallelujah. I am a teacher of the Bible. Amen. That is who I am. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I am a teacher of this Bible. I am not an exhorter. Amen. I don't pick Bible to exhort. I pick the Bible to teach. So, there are people that exhort. They will pick one scripture and then exhort the people around, you know, that thought. But my own ministry is to let the people understand what is written in this Bible. Amen. So if you want to understand what is written in this Bible, continue to come here. Amen. Amen. Now let me make you understand something now. Now in Revelation chapter 4 there is something there. God opened the eyes of the apostle John in the island of Patmos and he saw the throne of God. 
before the throne of God. There are two significant things he saw there. He saw 24 elders. He also saw four beasts. Now, who are these 24 elders that he saw before the throne of God? Hallelujah. The 24 elders are made up of the 12 patriarchs. Hallelujah. Of Jacob. That formed the nation of Israel. Which became the church of Jesus. Or the church of God in the wilderness. The nation of Israel that God. That those covenant people began with the 12 sons of Jacob. And when he came to the New Testament also. To start the spiritual nation of God. There is the physical nation, Israel. There is the spiritual nation, the church. He started again with 12 disciples. Those 12 disciples and the 12 patriarchs of the Old Testament make the 24 elders that are before the throne of God. Praise the Lord. Now he also saw four beasts. Now listen, he saw the first beast was like what? A lion. The second one was what? A calf or an ox. The third one was the face of a man. And the fourth one was what? The flying eagle. Praise the Lord. Now listen church. In Matthew 16, Jesus Christ spoke about him building his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Amen. The gates of hell shall not prevail. And I have taught you several times that the gates of hell are not witches and wizards. The gate of hell is not sickness or timely death. The gate of hell that was referring to was the spirit of the antichrist that will come up once the church starts to counter the move of God. But the Bible tells us in Isaiah that the, when the enemy rises as a flood, what happens? The spirit of God raises a standard. Hallelujah. And when the church of Jesus Christ started, Amen. The gates of hell was let loose to come against the church. The enemy rises, raises his own storm. That storm that he raised will, will, will move through the seven church ages depicted in Revelation chapter 6 as those four horse riders. Those four horse riders that started with a white horse, that white horse changed to a red horse, the red horse changed to a black horse, and later on it changed again to a pale horse. There was a rider on the horse. A horse is a power. It means a power. But this power is not the power of the Holy Ghost. It is the power of the Antichrist. It is the same horse that was changing itself. It was not four horses, but the same one horse that started in the church age and kept riding and then moved again and changed to a red horse. That was the time they were killing the, the saints of Jesus Christ. Then it changed again to a black horse, the dark ages. Then it changed to a pale horse rider. The color of deception. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I think Pastor Peter is teaching on the seven seals. He's taking it. So he will continue. I am I'm not trying to spoil the flow of your message. Where is Pastor Peter? I'm not spoiling the flow of your message. You will still continue the teaching. I'm just giving him a summary of it. He will go into details to make you understand it more. But now listen. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. That was the storm that set a race to counter the move of God. But each time, God, knowing that he will appear in those four different appearances like that, the Antichrist, he reserved for himself the standard that he will use to counter it. And that was the four beasts that are in the throne of God. When the first horse rider started, when the church of Jesus Christ started, that white horse, uh, the, the white horse rider, white, he had a bow without an arrow. And if you have a bow without an arrow, you know what it means? It means he was only scaring them. Amen. He could not do anything. He was scaring them. The first church and the believers of the gospel were scared. But so that they will not be afraid, they were given the anointing of a liar boldness. The anointing was depicted by that lion. It was boldness. That white horse rider changed later on as the ages went by to a red horse. The color of red symbolized the period of martyrdom. Okay, we scare you. You will still continue with this gospel. Let's kill all of them. And they were killing the saints of God. If you ever read the history of the church, especially the account in the Fox's book of matters, and you will see the, 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 what the saints of God went through to preserve this gospel that we are just playing about with it now. People paid with blood. It's dripping with blood. The Holy Ghost gospel dripped with blood. But while he was using that so that the gospel will stop, what did he, what did the Lord raise up? He raised up that anointing that is depicted as what? A calf or a, um, an ox that is a burden bearer. No matter how you suffer them, no matter how you were killing them, the more they killed the Christians, the more people were giving their lives to Christ. When they thought that if we kill them, they will stop preaching the gospel. Everybody will stop. Why? God release an anointing because it will take an anointing from the Holy Ghost. If you read some of the account where they will bring a pregnant woman, she's still pregnant, and they will bring other women and say, will you people denounce this Jesus and stop this thing? And they will tell, they say, they will not. They will take, this is what we shall do for you if you don't denounce it. A pregnant woman, they will tear her alive. Kill her, bring the baby out before other women. When they expect the other women now to say, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Immediately after they finish, they will run and say, here we are, do the same thing to us. There is an anointing that we make them say, as they have died, we want to die like that too, rather than denounce the Jesus. The apostles were born to death with fire. They were fed to lions. They will bring them to the arena. And they will keep those lions very hungry for some days. They will bring those lions, they will come and see the way they play football and people are in the stadium. That's how they were in the galleries. And then they will now push them to the center and then they will release those lions. And when those lions see them are devouring them, when they expect that people will now say, no, we don't want to die like that, right there from the arena, everybody, most of the people there, we rush in and say, we want to die like that to let the lions eat us too. It was an anointing pushing them. It is that ox anointing. The anointing of the calf. Praise the Lord. But the Antichrist said, okay, this thing is not stopping them. So, so let's change the tactics. Let's withdraw the Bible from them. That was the dark ages. When there is no word of God, the Bible describes the word of God as a light. And when there is no word, there is total darkness. And so they withdrew all the Bible. It was an offense to be seen with Bible. And it was spearheaded by the Catholic system, the Church of Rome. 
Remember, the persecution was not from the Roman unbelievers. It was from the Roman church. Backed up by the imperial Rome. Praise the Lord. And so, only the priest had access to the Bible. And it is recorded that when the priest will read the Bible, he will even turn his back to the congregation. And whatever he read, you must say amen. For you don't know any better. And that was the period they changed every Bible doctrine here. They turned it upside down. That was the time the doctrine of Trinity, three persons in one God was introduced. That was the time that Mary was elevated for worship and became somebody part of those mediators. That was the period that all the nonsense you are seeing today, that was the period they changed water baptism from the, in the name of Jesus to the triumph father and son, Holy Ghost baptism. That was the period sprinkling of water was substituted for a marshal. That was the period everything in this Bible they was turned upside down. The parable in Matthew 13 about that woman that took three measures of meal and mixed it with what? Leaven. Until the three measures of meal were all corrupted. The three measures of meal are the three works of grace. The woman is the Roman church. Praise the Lord. That took the three works of grace justification, sanctification and baptism of the Holy Ghost and corrupted it with leaven Jesus Christ said beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and he was referring to the doctrine of the Pharisees false doctrine is called leaven it corrupts the meal and you know what they substituted uh, justification for hallelujah you know what they substituted sanctification for? And you know all the other teachings. The Holy Ghost that you are receiving here today was substituted. Hallelujah. With what? The Holy Eucharist. Come and receive the Holy Ghost. They will give you one bread to eat. That is the Holy Ghost. Everything was turned upside down. Praise the Lord. Total darkness and it lasted for about 1,000 years. According to Bible history or church history. And that was the period that the third beast at the throne of God was now used. The human face that was used there, that was the period that God now began to use human intellect. He got a man by the name of Martin Luther. And open his eyes. Somebody who was a mighty juggernaut landed in the Catholic faith. And one day he was there trying to walk his way for penance. Struggling to live a life pleasing before God. As he was crawling to go and kiss the, one of the feet of one image. As they always done. The highest idolatrous society organization in the world is the Catholic Church. No, that is the truth. Idol worship, the greatest place promoted that promotes it is the Catholic Church. And please, if you are from Catholic, don't be angry with me. Please, I am telling you what is in the Bible. It's in this Bible. Praise the Lord. And the Antichrist proper is coming from that same place. According to the Bible. It is there. Written there. Daniel chapter 7, chapter 8. And the Revelation chapter 13 and Revelation chapter 17. Everything you see there, that is where the Antichrist is coming from. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible in, Revel in Exodus chapter 20 forbids us from making Im any image or the likeness of anything in heaven or on earth and then we bow before it. 
But you know what I mean. In every Catholic compound, there is one shrine and an image somewhere that the people will go before and bow. The Bible says there is only one mediator between God and man. Who is the person? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But you know how many of them the Catholics have raised to go to God through them. St. Jude, pray for me. St. Paul, pray for me. St. Augustine, pray for me. Mary, mother of God, pray for me. How can a human being born God? Which type of God is this that a human being will be born? Mother of God. Like the unbelievers that carry their God in their pocket. Unbelievers will go, Babala will put something, they will put it in their pocket. That is their God. And if I'm rubber collect it. They will be begging, hey, give me the other one. Give me it. You can take the answer, but that other one, give me. I'm rubber collect your God is going. Praise God. There are Pentecostals too that carry their God in their bags. There is a way you carry anointing oil. That anointing oil becomes your God. Ah, I forgot my anointing oil. Yeah, my anointing oil. My anointing oil. If you are going to your village and you reach Onicha and you discover your anointing oil, you forgot in Lagos, you will turn back. I can't go to the village. These people are very wicked though. If I go to the village without my anointing oil, they will finish me. Anointing oil has become your God. Amen. My God is bigger than all. Oh, bigger than It's too big for me to carry in a bag. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God is too big for me to keep it in a shelf in one cupboard somewhere in my house. My God is too big for me. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Mary is not the mother of God. Mary is the mother of the body that God created. Hallelujah. The human vessel that God created so that he will come and dwell in. Mary is the mother of that body. Not the mother of God that came and dwell in that body. Mary has no part, has no power. That Mary is the creator of that God. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a creature of that God. That God created Mary. How can Mary then give birth to her own creator? Mary is not the mother of God. Praise the Lord. And please, Mary had other children after Jesus. Hallelujah. She was a virgin until after the birth of Jesus. After the birth of Jesus, Joseph continued from there. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the names of her children that she born for Joseph, they are in the Bible. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Therefore, the idea of trying to make 
images and, and idols came in the dark ages. And that is why, hallelujah, as Luther one day was doing as the way he was brought up, suddenly trying to do penance, suddenly a voice spoke to Luther. I read the history. He said, Luther, the just shall live by faith. Amen. And we know the history. By that revelation, God took a man, used that man, and spearheaded a revival. 99 pieces that he wrote went to his church in Germany somewhere and pasted them in the Catholic church. Disproving all that the Catholic was teaching to be unscriptural. And with that, it marked the first Protestant move. The Protestant revival. The word Protestant, that is when it began. They protested from the false church. They came out of Catholicism and from then on, God began to use human beings as reformers to reform the world. A little here, predestination was restored. Oneness of God was restored. Water baptism in the name of Jesus was restored. All these ones were restored. One by one, holiness was restored. Without holiness, no man will see God using John Wesley and all the others like that. Praise the Lord. And because the people were ignorant of what was written in the Bible, that was when they established Bible colleges. That is the history of Bible school. Because they needed a school to restore back the knowledge of this Bible. That is what God used to counter the third horse. The third horse rider. Dark horse was countered by that face of a human being. The face of a man. The third beast in the throne of God. But after some time, when he discovered, okay, all of them have come to the Bible Abbey. Before you know what, in 1906, the Pentecostal move started, the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. People were speaking in tongues. Power was being demonstrated. Hallelujah. That same old Antichrist looked again and said, okay, say they are all going with power, power now. They know the, the, the best thing now is let us use deceit. Don't persecute them anymore. Don't kill them anymore. What we shall do is give them wrong doctrine. Teach the Pentecost that are speaking in tongue is the evidence of the Holy Ghost. And let them be teaching people how to speak in tongue, how to speak in tongue. Teach them that anybody that is anointed, it means he's of God. Teach them. Yes. These the people who say it doesn't matter. Our God is a good God. You can come to him anyhow. You can dress anyhow. Our God is a good God. Don't touch the anointing. Let the anointing flow, 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 flow. But deceive them. Give them false teachings. False, false. So he released that is the pale horse rider. Pale horse rider, the color pale there is a mixture of different colors. When you look at it, it be like say nah, red, be like say na nah, white, be like say, be like say. It's neither red, it's not that is it is a color of deception. It is anointing of deception. Praise the Lord. But why that deception is going on? God countered it with an anointing that is depicted with a flying eagle. That is the eagle there. That is the eagle there on the boat. That is the eagle there. That is the eagle there. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Why? Why an eagle? Because an eagle, hallelujah, is a prophetic anointing. 
that enables you to see true deception. Whenever anybody is speaking, hallelujah, you can know. Why? Because you are taking higher in revelation. The eagle is the bird that flies the highest. And at that level, the things that he sees, other birds cannot see it. Denominational chickens cannot see it. Pentecostal hawks cannot see it. The eagle goes high. And because of it, he sees clearly. Remember the eagle, the higher it goes, the clearer it is. That's why when an eagle is flying very low, and he sees something. Bill, I say, now food be that. Bill, I say, now fresh food be that. What will he do? Instead of going, he will go up first. He will fly up, yeah, so that he can look at it very well. Because the higher he goes, the clearer he sees. Blessed be the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. And the Bible says, where the carcass is, there are the eagles. We gather. What is the carcass? The fresh meat. The eagle does not eat on dead meat. No, it is fresh meat. Hallelujah. And it is a type of the word of God. Where the unadulterated fresh word of God is. And we have the word of God for this day. Remember in the wilderness, you were not allowed to eat yesterday's manna. It must be the manna for today. There is the manna for the seven church age. It is the manna for today. In the days of the voice of the seventh angel. It is the eagle's food. Chicken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the difference between the chicken. Hallelujah. And the eagle. Remember. The chicken is also a bird. Amen. And they fly too. The eagle is also a bird. The eagle flies too. Hallelujah. But there's a difference. Amen. The level that the eagle will reach, the chicken cannot reach that level. Hallelujah. If a chicken fly, if it try fly, it may reach the fence of the house. Oh, yes. That is the highest it can go. If it try anything beyond that, it will die. Why? Hallelujah. The, the eagle is not so. The reason that the chicken cannot go as high as the eagle, it is because of the type of food they eat. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A chicken is all earthly, 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 prosperity, 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 prosperity. 100 ways to become millionaire. 100 ways to become chicken food, chicken food, chicken food. Chicken, chicken, chicken food, chicken food, chicken food. Hallelujah. When you bring heavenly food to them, the heavenly food, hallelujah, that can only be plucked from a tree. And that tree is a tree of life. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. You have to fly high to that tree. To be able to catch the fruits from the tree of life. The chicken can't get there. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When you tell the chicken, water baptism is in the name of Jesus. You say, oh, it's in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Ghost. Oh. Oh. So you don't know the name of your father. Hey, hey. The name is Father. The father. Uh, uh, meal, meal, meal. I'm baptized. I'm baptized in Catholic. Me, I don't, I don't do any other baptism. Me, I have vow. I will not go to another church. I'm only going Catholic. I'm only Methodist. Me, my own. Oh, now, 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 our family bring Anglican. Come my village. What do you want to do? Make a come up. Call your church. I don't call. I don't call. You are a chicken. A chicken. And a chicken. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Church, a chicken is born a chicken. An eagle is born an eagle. That farmer went to the bush. 
I'm telling the story of somebody sitting down here now. That farmer went to the bush and saw an egg of an eagle. Beautiful egg. And he picked it. A beautiful egg. Look, the egg of an eagle is a beautiful egg. Hallelujah. All predestinated children of God, there's something attractive about you. I will prove it to you. Church. All predestinated children of God. Hallelujah. There is something about you that makes you unique. William Brown call it representation. He said there is something he places in you. Even while you are serving that, that, that mami water spirit. There is something about you. Church, have you realized something? That, that, that it is not everyone, it's not every child or every man or woman that can be initiated. Eh? Do you understand me? It's not everyone that can be initiated. Before a witch, we see you. Before an occultic man, before a possessed person, we see you to initiate you into their kingdom. There is something in you already he has seen. Hallelujah. If it comes, there are, if you come near others, there, no, you know, there is something in you he has seen. Church, let me also tell you something. Do you know that it is not everybody that goes to Babala or to College Juda to work for them? Eh? Do you know that? You and your friend will go. He own go work. Your own no go work. Praise the Lord. You are a witness. There are many more witnesses here. Hallelujah. The truth is this. Amen. Hallelujah. There is something inside of you that possess girl that you say, I she is queen of the coast. She is this, she is that. It is something inside that vessel. That God has prepared for the appointed time that he will come and take over his vessel. Satan sees it ahead and rushes and perverts it. When that person, the Lord gave me that revelation years back. That's the reason why even when we want to do deliverance for them, we don't mess them up like some of these Pentecostal pastors do. We don't give them microphone to confess I am queen of the coast. I am this. I am this. Because the truth is she's not the one talking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil messed them up. Then when it is time for their deliverance, he gives the last blow that will make everybody around to be afraid of you. So that after you are delivered, you are there. When you come near somebody, say, hey, now queen of the coast. No come. This one, no come. And those ones, once they come like this, and you chase out that spirit out, and you minister the baptism of the Holy Ghost, God will take over that vessel and begin to use him now for the own kingdom. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I say an eagle is born an eagle. You can never transform a chicken to an eagle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot. Praise the Lord. That's why some people will never be saved. Because they will never catch a revelation for salvation. There is nothing in them to catch it. Cain and Abel, they were in the same church. They had the same thing. And even when Cain was given opportunity, he told, he said, do what your brother Abel did and I will accept it. There is nothing in him to obey that voice of God. There is nothing. Nothing in him. Praise the Lord. Nothing in him. Imagine, you are getting angry. God will say, Ken, don't be angry now. If you do what your brother Abel did, your own too will be accepted. He cannot do it. There is nothing in his nature to be able to do it. There is nothing in a serpent seed to catch revelation. There is a difference between an animal and a human being. And that farmer went to the farm and saw that beautiful egg. Like that witch saw you 
when you go to select church, their prophet will just see the gift of God upon you. Hey, Jagu. Hey, Jagura. He said, God, they say he want to use you. There are genuine gifts of God in select church. But they are operating there in ignorance. That farmer took that egg and took it home. I'm telling you a story of what happened. And then brought the egg and joined it with the chicken at the home. Other eggs of the chicken. And now it was time for the eggs to be hatched. The chicken eggs were hatched. That eagle egg too was hatched. And the eagle grew up to see a chicken as his mother. So when he said, children, come. The small, small chicken will run. Chicka, 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 chicka. The eagle too will follow. Chicka, 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 chicka. But the eagle is eagle. Chicken is chicken. Amen. There are eagles sitting down here. That is why I say, you can get born again in a Catholic church. You can receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, the new birth, in a select church. You can receive in any church at all. You can be hatched there. I'm telling somebody now, that's your story. But the truth is this. You will always discover that place is not comfortable for you. And you are wondering why? Why? You are there in a church and the pastor says, everybody stand up. Oh, let's pray in the spirit. Everybody begin to speak in tongue. Oh, my, 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 my. everybody speak in speak tongue, tongue. Everybody. And you notice everybody is speaking in tongue. I'm talking about the eagle now. I'm talking about the eagle among chickens. All the chickens are saying, hey, mama, mama, go, 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 go. Of course, naturally, you too, you will follow. Hey, mama, mama, kai. After some time, kai. What am I saying? Kai. But other chickens are saying, hey, mama, mama, they are pushing you. Hey, be in the spirit. Hey, mama, go, 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 be in the spirit. You say, okay. Hey, mama, mama, kai. How many people experience that? How many? How many? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the, 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 the eagle will say, ah, but in the Bible, it is written, they speak in tongue as the Spirit gave them. But Mama say, Mama say, Mama, Mama Chicken say, say, everybody speak in tongue, speak in tongue, speak in tongue. Well, 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 I did what they said we should do. But inside of you, Lila, you left the church, they are sad. Small time, you are in that chicken church. Madam, come to the altar. Mommy. With painted face, painted nails, with with and then and then it's rebuking men the way they handle their wives at home. And 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 and, and that eagle is there. The other chicken men are saying, Hey man, mommy, mommy, mommy. The eagle is say, Hey mommy, mommy, but ah, because he doesn't know any better. But let me tell you, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Bible said the foundation of God standeth. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. Praise the Lord. The mother eagle, hallelujah. The mother eagle knows that that egg was taken somewhere. Wherever it is. Hallelujah. I'm going to get to those my, my get back my, my eaglets. Wherever they are, I'm going to get them. Hallelujah. And to get back 
those eaglets, it will not come by 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 persuasion. Please now, I beg uh, uh, redeem any of my people there. Uh, Anglican, I beg, I beg any of my children there. No, that's why the Bible said the Lord Himself will descend first with what? Shout. That is the message. That is the mama ego screaming. Come out of her, my people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was the mama ego looking for you when you jammed that track that we wrote in this book, one in this church, one your pastor. How many people saw that track? Thank you. So many of you, it is that track that made you to trace this church to come. As you are reading, you notice so many questions in your mind was answered. It's, ah, you mean there's church that believe like this? You mean there's church that believe like this? Where's their address? It was the mama eagle looking for his little eaglets wherever they are. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Using that eagle anointing. The bride of Jesus Christ can never be deceived again. Our eyes of understanding he has opened that's our anthem in this church and victory is ours who oh, we are chained down in the past through jubilee has sounded and we have responded to our God who's original Hallelujah. The original. The original sea. The original one. Is what I believe. The son of man. Is revealed. Yes, sir. The original. The original Hallelujah. I want to say something. Amen. Church, listen. Listen, church, listen. Hallelujah. With all due respect for my brethren who came from Abakaliki, they are believers of this end time message. Where are they, sir? Just wave your hand wherever you are. Thank you. God bless you. The two of them are there. Thank you. I want to say something because there's something. Sit down, sir. When you re introduced yourself to me yesterday, you said you are seven thunders believers. I did not talk anything about it because I was not in the mood to talk that yesterday with you in that area. But why I remembered it now is because of that chorus. It was shown on the screen now. He said, the seventh seal is unveiled. It is wrong. In our own book, we wrote it there. I was the one that corrected it. The seventh seal to be revealed. Amen. I told you I'm a teacher of the Bible. Church, when this message, this shout, that brought us out from the denomination was hard. Hallelujah. Every exodus, there were always a mixed multitude that followed. There were some that were following the flesh of William Abraham that God used. There are some that were listening to the message. And those who have listened to the the, 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 the follow the flesh come and see different different camps different different belief different different interpretation all of them quoting William Marion Brown one of the group said thunder has been revealed and that is where my brother comes from a believer of the seven thunders. What they are saying is, 
that the seven thunders has been revealed. For the sake of those who may not know, let me use five minutes and make you understand it. Praise the Lord. There are three stages for the rapture. Hallelujah. The first stage has started. And it will soon end. In fact, we expect it to end any time from now. And that is why we say the rapture has started. First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16. The order of the second coming of Jesus Christ is in three stages. He said, for the Lord himself will descend with a shout. And the voice of the archangel. And the trump of God. Hallelujah. Three stages. The shout is the midnight cry of Matthew 25 verse 6. Come out of the denomination. After you have come out, then the church will move to the next stage. The voice of the archangel. Praise the Lord. The shout first. That shout is still on now. That shout is the seventh angel message. And that is what you are hearing as you come here. He says, he says, listen church. Revelation 10, 7. Amen. Listen. Listen church. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel. When he shall begin to sound the mystery of God. Church, listen. Listen. That word didn't say the mysteries of God. It said the mystery of God. There is a way. When some of us first came into this message that our preachers, we are reading that scripture and then they, you know there is a way you read the scripture. You know, but you are reading it in the mind of who your pastor hallelujah he says he says the mystery of god but they were reading it all to say in the days of the voice of the seventh angel when it shall begin to sound the mysteries of god should be finished then they tell you every mystery has been revealed by william brown why he said because they say in the days of the voice of the seventh angel the mysteries should be finished read that thing he said mystery one mystery it is one mystery. Hallelujah. The mystery of God. One mystery. Should. Two words there. One mystery. And should. Should is different from is. If I say something is finished. It is definite. Bam. Full stop. But when you say should be finished, it means it will be rounding up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Which mystery? Apostle Paul told us the mystery in Ephesians chapter 3. One mystery. He said the mystery of the salvation of Gentiles. How the Gentiles that we are nothing they were dogs. How salvation now left Israel and came to the Gentiles. And not just that. Hallelujah. The first shall be the last. And the last shall be the first. Hallelujah. The first Israel shall be the last to come into the kingdom. And the last the Gentiles will be the first to enter. Because after we have entered, then the gospel will turn to Israel. Before they will come in, we are there. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He said it is a mystery. But remember that that mystery began, hallelujah, from the first church age and it was going to last for 2,000 years according to Hosea chapter 6 verse 2. Praise the Lord. And it will be broken down into seven church ages. And that mystery will be rounding up because it rounds up that mystery ends with the rapture. After the rapture, no more salvation for the Gentiles. And that is why in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he will begin to sound, that mystery will be rounding up. Because there is no eighth church age. 
The seven church age is the last church age. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The, the seven church age, it is in that age that God will be rounding up. Rounding up. But why? Hallelujah. He says, the, the, it will, he will start with a shout. The shout is, come out of the denominational system. Come out of error and come back to the apostolic faith. Apostle Paul said, examine yourself if you be in the faith. That anointing came with Elijah anointing. In Matthew 17, he said, Elijah shall surely come and restore all things. It is time to restore the church, the fallen church, back to what God has intended it in the Bible. That is why we preach what the apostles preached. We teach what the apostles teach. The way they baptize is the way we baptize. They did not ordain their wives. We shall not ordain our wives. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They did not have headquarters anywhere with branches up and down. We shall not have headquarters anywhere with branches. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is why we are the way we are. They did not teach Trinity. We shall not teach Trinity. Back to the apostolic doctrine. They believe in the genuine power of the Holy Ghost. And that will Abraham preach that message that Jesus Christ is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. And he made a statement when you preach the message concerning the seven church ages as he broke it down. He said, every true living church, he said, these gifts in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 must operate there. He said, if there is any church that these um, gifts are not operating there, he said, certainly he will question the existence of that church. The source of that church. He said it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And William Abraham said something. Just before he comes, God is going to raise a group of people just before Christ will come in the adoption that we manifest this power of the spoken word again. He had the gifts that up to today, no preacher has come near that level that God took him in discernment. It is only in this ministry that we started to see that messianic sign again. It is a sign of the Messiah. You will stand up, he will tell you your name, where you come from, what brought you here? And they give you the solution. And the solution is not for you to go and do dry fast. The solution is the power of the spoken word. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Of course, all that gift has been impersonated by the Pentecostal chickens or hawks. Hallelujah. Everywhere you go, ah, the person responsible is for your your company, your company, your company, your company. Everywhere you go, your company. Everywhere you go, your company. Everywhere your company, none of them can give you solution. It is a carnal impersonation of the real thing. When God reveals the cause of your problem, He will give solution. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We saw that. That was the man that showed us that it is wrong for you to commercialize your gifts. Before you pray for somebody, you will pay for it. He said, freely we have received. Freely we must give out. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That is the man that taught us never to lower the bar of the gospel. Hallelujah. Say what the word says. Say what the Bible says. And William Abraham said that he has made